the Honolulu City Council passed two bills Monday meant to stop illegal short term vacation rentals and further regulate the practice. But how will officials enforce this? Jen Beniza follows up. Jen? Regina Mayor Caldwell will soon be looking over both bills. I'm told he is likely to sign Bill 89. But will the Department of Planning and Permitting be able to police this properly? The mayor will soon sign off on a plan to crack down on illegal short term vacation rentals. City Councilman Ron Menor says they've added provisions to help enforce the new laws. He's hosting platform provisions that will now be required to provide monthly reports uh, to uh, the DPP with the names, addresses, um, tax. Uh, transient accommodation tax identification numbers, length of stay, and the uh, price that's paid per, for each uh, listing. Important information previously kept confidential by vacation rental websites. Anyone offering short term rentals will be required to have a registration number from the city's planning and permitting department and to display it on all web and print advertisements. Without one, they would be in violation of the law and the city would begin assessing fines. A public complaint process will also be set up. Money collected from fees and fines will help pay for the enforcement process. But not everyone is convinced it will work. Do you think that um, our officials will be able to enforce this? <laughs> not at all. They couldn't even enforce the law before, and so now they make more laws with more teeth, presumably, but there's no one to enforce it. If the bills are signed into law by Mayor Caldwell, they will go into effect this August. Menorah says fines begin at $1,000 for the first infraction and reach up to $10,000 per day for continued violations. He believes those hefty fines will deter legal vacation rentals in the future. Back to the desk.